And we're dead. Took me an hour to get here. It takes so much prep to go to this to get down to that level of the dungeon because of the because of those like two hexes of poison. The thing is, other wizardry games before this one One of the spells and abilities they gave, they gave you would be a spell that lets you, for lack of a better term, avoid status effects. Not that voice effect, but avoid the hazardous tiles on the ground. It would let you float over hitfall traps, teleport hex, teleport squares. Um, poison hexes, that sort of thing. I think I'm going to do this time around. I'm going to do a separate separate um, rip. Get the poison, to get the antidotes I need. Then bail out back to town. Leave my game again. And then do the run. This also give me advantage of letting me just trigger the story content that I ran into the first time through um, on the upper levels. I'll say the definite advantage of playing this in emulator, the main reason I didn't... Yeah, the advantage of playing this in emulator is... Do I still have the... I still need to sell the slime jelly. I get a saved state at the start of each of the fights. I had the resources I needed to beat them. And it's a cheap magic item I don't need.
So possible that the giant uses a pattern for when it attacks. Um, just to be safe, I'll probably want to up cast an evade archetype golem. Just to be safe, I'll probably want to cast an evade spell. I actually might be able to side the strip, silence it. And that just mitigates the uh ability to use those spells and simplify since it's not immune to magic because the demon had the reflect status effect that was a and that limited my options for dealing for countering its spells but if I could just mute the damn cast mute the darn thing uh, and that simplifies the tactics I'd be, fa I'd be facing, and just makes it really simple. Because the melee counter, or the, the counter to the melee attacks, was doing about... 80 to 90 damage a go. Um. Well, actually, I bet. I wonder if my um, if instead of doing the the crisscross. If I did the uh, converge attack, I might have actually done more damage. It looks like its thing, whole thing is low defense, giant pile of hit points. Considering how much damage my ranged attack, my uh, back rank attacks do, some of those which against most normal enemies, like, do nothing. I don't think my insta-kill sneak attack would do much, but... Alright. One. Two. Back to town. Use all those remaining materials to craft spells. This is one more transfer potion. That might be useful. Okay. Bummer too, because I got a really good spawn for the down ramp there. Yeah. 
in the um, in the labyrinth level. It's also a little frustrating because there are no other sh aren't any other shortcuts on that level. And we'll go up to the higher levels. Like, it's one thing if you're like, oh, you drop that shortcut at the down at the, the point the shortcut at the uh, um, boss fight at the exit to that level, but. spells. But there are other upgrade spells. That one's maxed. Let's level that one up. I need to upgrade and get rid of that stupid piece of our um, appraise and then it rid of that stupid piece of armor.
So all the daggers are cursed daggers. Okay. Basically. Good to know. Alright, we're all at full health. We didn't cast any spells. So let's save the game. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.